Hello viewers, today I'll show you how to make a spicy venison shank curry that is big on flavor and on taste. It is a wholesome warming recipe perfect for the cold months. Here I have around 1 kg of venison shank which is known as osso bucco in Italian. This meat is perfect for stewing. As you can see it has a bone in the middle which is full of marrow which is going to add a lot of flavor to the dish. The whole spices I'll be using are two sticks of cassia bark, several cloves, green cardamoms, two black cardamoms, some black peppercorns, one whole mace blade, a bit of dagger full for aroma. This is an optional ingredient. Two dry red chilies, three bay leaves, one whole nutmeg coarsely ground, grounded. 2 teaspoons each of turmeric and coriander powder, 1 teaspoon each of celery, cumin and chili powder, 2 large sliced onions, 1 whole garlic bulb diced, some diced ginger, 4 green chilies, 2 diced small carrots, as well as some potatoes, red bell pepper, carrots and beans cut into larger chunks. 6 salad tomatoes cut into chunks, the juice of 1 lime and some diced goat suet or fat, another optional ingredient. Heat some oil in a pressure cooker. Now I am going to add all the whole spices into the pot except for the dagger fool and nutmeg. Let's put the whole spices into the pressure cooker. Stir the whole spices about for a minute and then add the sliced onions into the pot. Fry the onions for 2 to 3 minutes. Then add the ginger, garlic, and the green chilies into the pot. Give them a stir and then add the diced goat suet to the pot. Fry for a minute. Then add the diced carrots into the pot and give it a mix. Now I'm going to add the venison shank pieces or the venison osso buco into the pot and brown them nicely on all sides. This will take a couple of minutes. Use tongs to turn the shank pieces about. Then add the powdered spices into the pot followed by the lime juice. Mix them in. Crush the dagger pool between your palms and put it into the pot. Put the coarsely ground nutmeg into the pot as well. Give the pot a mix. Add the chopped tomatoes in and stir the pot. Add salt according to your taste. I'll also add a bit of tomato puree for extra flavor and then mix it in. Now add enough water to cook the meat. Give the pot a stir.
cover and cook on full pressure but on low flame for at least 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, let the pressure drop and carefully open the lid. You can see that the meat is nearly falling off the bone. Now add the rest of the vegetables into the pressure cooker. Cover and cook for 10 more minutes. After 10 minutes, take the lid off. And you can see that the vegetables are cooked as is the meat and it is ready to be plated up. Look at the beautiful piece of the venison osoboko. Serve this delicious venison shank curry with pasta, rice or naans for a truly sumptuous dinner. If you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel The Omnivore Indian for more. Enjoy!